Hey, what's up you guys? It's Six. Welcome back to my channel. So really quickly before we get into this video, I just want to say I'm sorry that I uh, unexpectedly missed two uploads last month. I know I mentioned the first time that I wasn't going to be uploading, but the second time I just didn't say anything anywhere <laughs> that I was going to miss another upload. Um, May just got absolutely insane for me between Tears of the Kingdom coming out, the event going on, just all of the things that I was doing um, really led to me just not having time towards the end of the month to film or upload or edit or do anything. Uh, so <laughs> that didn't end up happening. I do apologize, but I am not going to miss a single upload this week uh, because during last month, I have been working on this project. So this this project is in collaboration with Sunflower Cafe and Collective. They are a, of course, cafe space located in Wichita, Kansas, and I love this place so dearly much. Uh, in addition to being a cafe, it is, of course, a collective space. I, I have mentioned a few times on this channel before, um, it's just a place where artists, bakers, and creatives in any way, shape, or form, any type of medium can come and share their work and sell their art and do their thing. And I just think it is an amazing, amazing space. Um, in addition to being a collective though, it is of course, as I've said three times now, a cafe with an incredible drink menu. Uh, and one day on their Facebook page, they posted a picture of a uh, green apple Italian soda with strawberry popping boba. And it was the cutest thing in the world. I literally thought like as just as a drink, it was really cute. It's like this really um, light green and then it had like a cream layer on top and of course the little pink boba at the bottom. And I was like, I wanna make a character design <laughs> based off of this drink. This is so cute. And for a while, I just kind of simmered on that idea. I was like, what, what if I made a character based off of this drink? I think that would be adorable. And then I was like, <laughs> What if we made like a specialty drink menu and every drink would come with a sticker inspired by that? And so normally I would think of something like this and I would be like, that would be fun. And then I don't do it because uh, if I can't figure out how to execute every single aspect of a, a project, then I give up on it because I get scared. And I'm like, well, it's just not gonna work out so I might as well not try to do it. But I didn't do that this time. Uh, instead, I decided to message the owner uh, and see what she thought about the idea. And funnily enough, she was super, super into it. So we got to um, go down there and I got to play barista for a day. We gathered a bunch of different syrups and drink faces and just tried to think of uh, flavors that were interesting together but were also um, you know, colorful or had elements of them that I could pull, like mangoes, for example. Even though the mango syrup isn't orange, it's like, oh, mangoes are orange uh, and, you know, red and green and whatever. It's got some colorful aspects of it that would make for um, nice character design elements. So it was really, really fun, and we put together a sort of menu. Um, and it's definitely not going to be a permanent menu by any chance or by any stretch of the word. Uh, well, it could be in the future. Um, but at current, the way the project is setting now um, for Pride Month, each week we are going to have a new specialty drink uh, it, from the menu <laughs> that we put together together. Put together together? That makes, that's grammar. Is it grammar? I don't know. Um, from the menu that we put together. <laughs> um, and then there's gonna, of course, be the sticker uh, inspired by that character each week. And then if it goes well for this month, it might be a project that we continue on into the future. Um, but it definitely won't be a weekly thing. It will probably be like an every other week type situation or maybe once a month. I don't know yet. Uh, we don't we don't have all the details nailed down. Um, but the fun thing about Sunflower being uh, sort of locally owned independent business and not like a huge chain uh, is that we can experiment and have fun with stuff like this. So I am really, really excited. Um, each week for this month uh, as well on YouTube uh, is going to be the speed paint for each of those drinks. I'm not going to talk about the drink process every single time. Maybe 
um, if I if I have you know a lack of, of voiceover topic for the month uh, or for that week then I probably will just end up talking about the drink again but anyway the point of this video is this particular speed paint so this week's drink is a blueberry lavender cold foam cold foam latte blueberry lavender <laughs> cold brew latte with a white chocolate cold foam and this one was one of my favorites so I am and it's the one that we were the most excited for, at least taste-wise, because we we made a couple, and this was the one that we were like, oh, I'm gonna start taking pictures of this. This is so pretty. Oh, this tastes so good. Um, I am a big lavender latte lover, but I know that florals aren't for everybody. So I was like, how can we dress up a lavender latte? Um, and so we got uh, a menu of, of some syrups that we had that we were kind of like, picking through and going okay we have this okay what pairs with this and I stumbled on blueberry lavender like blueberries and lavender are just a, a common flavor combination and we had a blueberry syrup and we had a lavender syrup so we were like ooh, we should do that and then the owner was like what if we did it in a cold brew and I said I love a good cold brew absolutely um, and then I was like ooh, cold brew cold foam what if we did like a white chocolate because I saw that they had white chocolate as one of their syrups or like well, I guess it would be a syrup and so I was like white chocolate syrup cold foam with this sweet little like blueberry lavender situation I think that would be really good and then we made it and it was so delicious it was so good I really really enjoyed it and so um, apart from knowing that you know blue and purple and all that were gonna be very visually interesting um, it just also was the tastiest and I was very excited <laughs> to um, have that be the first drink in the lineup so that is this uh, and now that we are getting into or out of <laughs> rather the drink side of it uh, we can finally talk about the speed paint so the speed paint was really uh, kind of interesting for me. So uh, initially I knew the designing portion of it was going to be kind of simple. Um, I knew I wanted to do a really um, kind of like classic design because you think of like a, a lavender latte and it's like that's really classy. You know what I mean? Like that's really like I just something about the vibes seemed like a really like put together kind of gal um but I thought it might be cute to have her kind of like um dress up a little bit with like her accessories make them a little bit more on the funky side um when I had initially designed her it was just the earrings and I was gonna do her top um as kind of like inspired by the strawberry dress but like with blueberries I think there is a blueberry dress as well now there's like a, a whole bunch of different fruit dresses by Lyrica Matoshi um, but uh, I decided to stray away from that because I realized once it was shrunk down into kind of like a sticker size um, that the blueberries on her shirt weren't gonna be as recognizable and also uh, I was gonna be by that point mainly focusing uh, on blueberries and the lavender wasn't coming out as much so I decided to do a little bit more experimentation. I also got the idea at the very beginning process to just have her have a regular beret. Uh, but once I ditched the um, the blueberry top, I was like, what if it was like a light purple beret? And instead of the little like doingly bit at the top, I don't know what the technical term for the sticky outy part of a beret is uh, but I thought what if instead of that part we had like a little bundle of blueberries I thought that would be super cute um, and the first thing that I knew that I was gonna do for this character was her earrings um, I am obsessed with like hyper realistic fruit earrings I see them a lot on TikTok and Etsy there's like blueberries obviously strawberries grapes and stuff like that and so I knew that I wanted to do um, kind of like the stud of her earrings as the blueberry and then have like a dangly bit that was like a stem of lavender I just thought that would be really really pretty and I really liked that um, her hair was also, I knew 100% was going to be a braid. I did have a moment where I was like, what if she had like really long wavy hair? But then I was like, no, no, no. The double braids, the double braids are doing it for me. I really think that, um, that fits this character really well. I think it makes her earrings stand out a little bit more. Um, 
that being said i think they kind of got lost once i added in the color uh initially for her hair i was gonna do um a white to brown gradient to represent the actual coffee portion so that the coffee with the cold foam on top um but then i was like i'm really not i don't think i'm nailing the blueberry lavender as much as i would have liked to uh so i brought in the blue and purple into her braids as well and i am sort of glad that i did that because i do think it makes her look really nice and pretty and colorful it's just that I think we lose a bit of that coffee uh, look to her but that's fine because overall I do really like this character design uh, particularly just the colors in general I think the colors work really really well a lot of people were commenting on the little preview TikToks that I was doing uh, that they really liked the colors and thought it was really pretty so I am very very happy with those I'm glad I did end up doing that i just wish that the the earrings were a little more noticeable because they're my favorite part <laughs> that being said um so character design came to me really simply rendering <laughs> the actual line art portion the coloring portion fine the line art <laughs> was miserable line art has been so miserable for me lately because i have been in just this never-ending cycle of horrible self-critique um i i cannot stop nitpicking every single thing that i do it took me probably 45 minutes to line just her jaw um it was it was really hard for some reason i just could not get that perfect angle that i wanted and i think part of it was me being so nervous because this is such a kind of like a big project for me um i really wanted this to be like a super pretty like standout sticker design that people see it and want to grab it obviously along with their coffee um i wanted it i wanted to make an impression with it and so i think part of it um was that nervousness hello <laughs> I think part of it was that nervousness of like a lot of people are gonna be seeing this a lot more people than normal because it's gonna be like a highlighted situation it's gonna be like front and center like here's a, a special that we're doing we're gonna be recommending this to a lot of people so I wanted it to be a big thing um, but I just it was really 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 struggling uh especially with so i said her jaw but her eyes also i was constantly like is this one too big is this one too weird is this one a weird shape um because i did the initial sketch in kind of like my doodly style that i do where i don't put um as much detail in but i also really like my doodle style which is a problem uh because my my actual line art style and my doodle style are kind of really separate and so when i add more details in i'm like oh that doesn't look as cute and like bright as the original uh so i was really just fussing with it for a really 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 long time like hours like triple probably the normal amount of time i would spend on a line art i normally take three hours to finish a piece in its entirety i probably spent three hours on the line art alone i was really really struggling with the lines but eventually at some point i don't know what happened i just realized i was nitpicking and i was like okay here's what i'm gonna do <laughs> i'm going to stop move on to a new layer do my multiply, do my render, paint everything. And then if by the end of the illustration I don't like it, I can copy paste uh, the canvas with, you know, the uh, transparent background. I can paste it and then I can liquefy everything into place. But I didn't need to do that <laughs> because by the time I finished the render, I was like, I like it. I don't... I don't know why I didn't like it before. I don't know what was bothering me about it. It's the same thing that happened with the Zelda sticker that I did a bit ago. I just can't stop <laughs> nitpicking myself so i think once i realized i'm in that state um especially if i already have the item item the area i guess whatever it is if it's already lined and i just don't like the lines and i start squishing them around we're gonna be like shut up render and then we'll talk then we'll see if you need it still because nine times out of ten if i move on to color i will forget what i disliked to put it prior to that or i'll be able to see just line art and I'll be able to kind of 
so much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.